I love this face. Ah! <laughs> I just love when like the skin just kind of comes together exactly the way that you want. It's like, you know, it's very satisfying for me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be getting into this cute little makeup look that we got going on right here. I've been trying to get into like the regular, you know, thing of like doing my hair, makeup, putting on a cute outfit and stuff. Especially these days where I have like errands to run. Today I have to take my car to get an oil change. I'm gonna make a stop at Ikea and I have some furniture coming in. So we've got a couple little things going on today. This is basically like my everyday makeup routine, except with like a little bit of extra glam. I have like a little bit of brown on the eyes and a lash, but other than that, it's pretty much very similar to my everyday look. I used a few new products in this video as well, so we've got that going on. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that little notification bell, that way you get notified anytime that I make a new upload. So if you guys wanna see how I get this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. I also have a little giveaway for this video. I almost forgot and I just remembered it came up into my head. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, just make sure to watch all the way to the end. I'll be giving out like the instructions to enter the giveaway and everything. So um, I think that's it. If you guys want to see how I get this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this look. I'm going to start off with some moisturizer. I'm using the Laura Mercier, the Perfect Cream Multitasking Moisturizer. I've never used this before, so this is brand new to me, but so far I really like the texture. It's like a thicker gel. It's like a gel cream. I don't know. Ooh, this feels nice. I like this. Then for primer, I'm using the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I have used this in the past. This is one of my favorite like drugstore primers. I definitely feel like if you're someone that needs a primer to kind of like grip onto your makeup, I would highly recommend this. And you can kind of see it, look. It's like sticky. Wow, this foundation is about to last all day, yes! <laughs> all right, so moving on to a foundation. What do I wanna use for? I've been using a combination of the Huda Beauty Glowish um, Skin Tint in shade Extra Tan, and I've been mixing it with the Huda Beauty Luminous um, Matte Faux Filter Foundation. So these two together is what I've been using for like my foundation combo these days. Before I do that, I'm gonna use a little bit of setting spray. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just spritz that all over just to give the makeup a little bit of extra something to hold on to and you know make sure it lasts for the day. I like using setting spray before and after foundation and make everything. I just feel like it just makes the light makeup last a whole lot longer. So I'm gonna mix these two onto the back of my hand. I'm using two pumps of the Glowish Skin Tint and like a half a pump of the Luminous Matte Foundation. Depending on how my skin is doing, I'll use a little bit more of the matte foundation just because, you know, I want a little bit of extra coverage, but so far I think my skin is doing pretty good. It's not too bad, so I'm just gonna stick with like a pump. And by now our setting spray is nice and dry, so we can go ahead and apply our foundation. I'm just gonna tap that on the cheek area, because that's where I want the most coverage. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend that in. And if I feel like I need more, then I'll just do like a light um, tap like on any areas that need the extra coverage. And per usual, I'm using the Beauty Bakery sponge. This baby is my favorite. I love this sponge so much. I'm like forever gonna be a stand of this sponge. They just work so well. And the price point is amazing. So if you're looking for new sponges, definitely check these ones out. I 
I think that's because I didn't set the skin with um, a powder. I just went straight in with foundation. Usually I'll go in with like my Laura Mercier powder before I go in with foundation and like set the primer. But today I like skipped out on it just because I don't know. I kind of like this dewy look that we've got going on. Like I did this a couple of days ago um, and I really like the way my skin looks. So we're just gonna go with it. Oh no, my sponge is broken. Oh man. All right, my sponge is torn. I'm pretty sure I did that just now because I literally just washed this. So don't mind my sponge. This will be my last time using this one and then I'll move on to another one. But yeah, I definitely, since I'm using it, I might as well just kind of like get my use out of it. So now I want to go in with just a tad bit of concealer. I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. And this one is in D100. This one's kind of close to my complexion and I'm literally just gonna tap this on the areas that just need that extra tad bit more coverage. So it's usually just the places where I have like scarring kind of peeking through. So I'm not going in with a ton of this. It's literally just to cover up those little acne scars there. I was thinking about going in with more of like my foundation mixture and just kind of like tapping it, but I feel like I need a little bit more coverage than that. So we're just going in with concealer instead and we're gonna tap that in. So I'm going in with the same CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, but I'm using T100. So this one's much, much lighter. And we're gonna pop this onto the under eyes. And I like to take my concealer into like the inner corner. So like over there, my under eyes tend to have like a little bit of shadow there. So it just kind of makes it nice and bright. And do a little bit right here, here, here. That's it. So I do have a few errands that I need to run today. I'm going over to Ikea later because I need to get like new storage for my makeup palettes. I have like my makeup palettes on like a little bookshelf, you know, that's not so like open so I can like see all of my palettes and stuff. I have a appointment to get some, an oil change for my car at two o'clock. So I'm gonna be doing that. I still wanna look cute though. That's why we're doing land today. I still wanna keep the habit of like, you know, getting, you know, um, dressed and doing like my makeup and hair and stuff like that in the mornings. It doesn't always have to be like this, you know, glam and everything like that, but it definitely makes me feel like, you know, much better. <laughs> I'm just doing a little light extra layer of that concealer right in here. This CoverGirl concealer is literally so amazing. I usually use it to prime my under eyes not my under eyes, my eyelids when I'm going in with like an eyeshadow because it dries down into like a matte finish. I won't really go full coverage with like my foundation right now, but I'll definitely, definitely, definitely still um, go full coverage with my under eyes. Like under eye concealer, we can definitely, you know, stick with some full coverage there. I have no, no complaints there. So now I'm just going in with like the bottom of my beauty blender and just blending out the edges just to make sure there's a nice transition between concealer and foundation. Now I'm gonna go in with some setting powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Setting Powder. And this has been like my go-to for ever since it launched, basically. <laughs> I'm so glad that they came out with this shade because it, I think it fills like a gap that I didn't even realize was there until they actually like had this yellow tint shade. So I'm also gonna use my Laura Mercier powder puff. But yeah, once I have my powder puff kind of loaded with powder, there's like a nice amount there to set, but not too much because we're gonna, gonna be baking. So we don't wanna go in with too much powder all at once. So, but once I have like a good amount, I'm going to go back in with my sponge, make sure to like blend out those little lines underneath your eyes before you set with your powder. Cause you don't wanna like set creases. 
and then I'm gonna go in and just tap that in. I also like to make sure that I set over here like the jawline because I do like to apply a powder bronzer after this. So just making sure that that area is set is going to make sure that the bronzer has like a smooth surface to lay on top of. So and now I'm going to go in with just a little bit of extra coverage on the under eyes, but I'm going to use a powder foundation. I've been loving the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundations. I'm going to use shade 2.55. I'm not using a ton of this powder, um, just a little bit to give like the under eyes just a tad bit of extra coverage and brightness. So I just tap my brush in, kind of like tap off all the extra and we're going to pop that right in here. Let's go ahead and add some bronzer. I'm going to use a new bronzer palette that I got from BH Cosmetics. This is their Tulum palette, this baby right here. And it has a couple of different bronzers in here and two highlighters. Oh my gosh, I'm just stabs my this palette with my fingernail so i'm going to use a picture of these two bronzers right here for today and that's what i'm going to use to bronze i'm just going to tap that all over i want some bronzer And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the Artist Couture. This is their multi-use beauty powder in shade Caramel de Lap. And we're going to go in with just a tad bit, blend out the edges of our bronzer just to make sure that there's no like harsh edges going on. It's nice and smooth, blended, you know what I mean? I'm just really trying to make sure that there's no harshness anywhere that everything is like transitioning smoothly into each other. So I think we're okay to go ahead and bake. So I'm going to go back in with my Laura Mercier setting powder in honey. I'm using this little sponge from Colored Rain. It's not damp at all. This is a dry sponge, but it's still very, very soft. That's why I like to use it to bake. And um, the fact that it has like a little point makes it super easy to get into like little corners and crevices and stuff. So I'm going to take a little bit of more of that Laura Mercier powder, kind of load it up on my blender here. And we're going to snatch the sides of the nose. And I am going to bake the bridge of the nose, but before I do that, I want to go back in with my Fenty powder in 255. This baby right over here, I'm going to use a Morphe M410, but it's basically just like a flat liner brush. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but like a flat little liner brush there. And I'm going to use this to highlight the bridge of the nose first. This is going to be like the, the base for the bake, if that makes sense, because I don't really use concealer to highlight my nose. I feel like this is kind of acting as like my concealer, this like little powder foundation here.
So while my news is baking, I'm going to apply blush. I'm gonna mix all four of these shades together and just apply that to the apples of the cheeks here. I like to kind of keep my blush like in here. That's just my personal preference though. Oh man, I didn't want to use this blush palette. I did have a new blush palette I wanted to use. Dang it. I wanted to use um, this new uh, blush palette that I got from Zachary. So this is the Be Perfect Cosmetics um, Shape Shift and Add Color. There is a second palette that goes with it that's done with Kohl's World, but these two palettes together are like kind of fire. So I was gonna use um, this yellow and this um, peachy, like orangey shade right here. I used this combo the other day and I was like, I had no idea that like yellow blush was something that I needed in my life. Like it looked so good. So I'm gonna tap my brush in just a little bit just to kind of like see if maybe I can use it with today's look because I was just so in love with it the last time that I used it. I had no idea that like yellow blush was that, you know, fire. So this is like the bronzer highlighter palette that was done with Kohl's World. So it has like a ton of different like sculpting, contouring, you know, uh, shades. And then we have like two brighteners on the edge here. This palette is super cute too, I love it. Loving the shades in here. They're done in collaboration again with Zachary Vang and Kohl's World. So all done with my blush now, my little brush here from Sigma and dust off the bake on the sides of the nose. Just very gently pushing that powder off. Kind of letting all the bristles do the work for me. But I'm gonna leave the bake on the nose. So this like little strip of powder there, we're gonna leave that there. I love this face. <laughs> I just love when like the skin just kind of comes together exactly the way that you want. It's like, you know, it's very satisfying for me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just do my eyebrows. Kylie's Cosmetics sent over a very large PR package not too long ago. Um, literally with like everything that she's launching or relaunching for the brand. One of them being the Kai Brow Brow Pencil. So I'm gonna use this in shade number six. I have used this before and I do like this pencil very much. It's like a nice like mix between like warm and cool. It's not too cool tone to the point where it looks like, you know, gray, but it's also not like really, really warm to the point where your brows just look super unnatural. So I really like these pencils though. Like they're super cute. Okay, brows are done. And I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer. I'm just taking this CoverGirl concealer in T100. I'm doing a tiny bit of that one and a tiny bit of the shade D100. I'm gonna mix those two together and I'm going to carve very, very lightly underneath the brow. Just kind of clean it up. And so then I'm gonna go in with my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Just get these babies into place so they're not moving around. So I think I want to do something with my eyes. Nothing crazy though, but I do want to do something. So I'm going to go in with the same Tulum bronzer palette from BH Cosmetics. 
I think I'm gonna use the shade right here on the eyes and maybe a little bit of this one. I definitely don't wanna do anything crazy. I'm not trying to go in for like a super heavy eyeshadow look today, but I feel like a nice like cute light brown snuggy eye would be like super cute for today. So I'm going in with my concealer brush and just tapping on whatever concealer I have left there from carving my brows. Now, usually I wouldn't set with powder, but today I'm going to set my eyes with powder before I do like, you know, any type of color on the lid. So we're gonna go back in with the Laura Mercier powder. I don't want this, again, I don't want this to be like a super, you know, intense brown smoky eye. I just want it to be very light and everything, so. Having the lid set is also gonna make sure everything kind of diffuses like really softly and everything. I'm gonna use an OG brush of mine. Unfortunately, you can't buy this anywhere. It's just like one of those brushes that um, I bought like a gazillion years ago. This is from Crown Brushes. This is their C200 Deluxe Crease Brush, but you can basically use your favorite blending brush. Like any fluffy blending brush will do the job just fine. So I'm gonna load up that shade Ruinas, is that how you say This color right over here, the widest out of the palette. And we're gonna start off with that in the outer corner here. Mm, yeah, let's go in with the deeper shade. Deeper shade right over here. I'm gonna start loading that up onto the outer corner as well. And bring that in super lead. I'm going to do, I'm going to try something different. I haven't done this before, but I'm going to use a little bit more setting powder and just go right underneath here and kind of like cut right there because I want it to kind of be clean, but I don't want to use a concealer because I feel like a concealer would be like too harsh, you know? So I'm gonna go in with the Shapeshifter palette from Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is the one that was done with Kohl's World. And I'm gonna use the darker bronzer or contour shade right over here. Just a little bit, nothing crazy, just a little bit. And I'm just gonna pop that onto the lash line here. Okay, so I'm gonna pop some liner into the waterline now. I'm using the Too Faced Cosmetics Killer Liner in shade Killer Cashmere. And um, because you guys already know, I am obsessed with beige. <laughs> but I'm obsessed with beige in the waterline, so. And this pencil's been doing really, really good for me. Then for mascara, I'm going bougie and using the Valentino um, mascara. I've been using it on like my natural, you know, everyday looks. And it just makes my lashes look like super feathery and full. Okay, I'm gonna give my mascara a minute to dry down before I apply my false lashes. So while that's drying, I'm going to use, um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter on the nose. So I'm gonna dust off this bake now. So to highlight the nose, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Pressed Highlighter. And this one is in shade Cheese Stalling. So I'm gonna apply that on to the bridge right over here. So 
So this is the uh, Brat Ink Lash in shade, no, I was gonna say shade, in style as if. Um, it's a really cute, like fluffy lash, but it's still very, very short, um, which is the reason why I like it so much. You guys have probably heard me talk about this lash a gazillion times over in like past videos. It's just so stinking cute. Like, come on, come on. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I already have my lash glue on here. I'm just gonna pop these babies on to the other eye. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like getting stuck to my tweezers. It won't stick to my eye. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm done with the face. I think I'm just gonna put on a lip and we are all done. So for lips, I'm gonna line first using Versatile Chestnut from Makeup Forever. And then for lipstick, I'm using a mixture of Boy Toy and Power Play from Artist Couture. I'm gonna use Power Play first. It's a little bit darker, so I'm gonna apply that onto the edges. And then Power Play, or Boy Toy is gonna go in the center. I'm gonna get a little, little lipstick out of place here. And then last but not least, I'm going in with Freck Noir. This is their freckle makeup from Freck Beauty. And I'm gonna use this to redefine my beauty marks. I'm also gonna go over the spots where I have like acne scarring that are like still kind of peeking through my foundation. Just kind of like disguise those little guys. I think that's it. Yep, I think that's it. I'm just going to touch up this blush and then uh, where my all nighter? Going back in with the all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay, and we're going to set this look. If you are here at the end of this video, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the giveaway instructions. So if you would like to enter this giveaway, per usual, I'm going to place a little emoji right over here. So just make sure to comment down below and add this emoji into your comment so I know that you're looking to enter the giveaway. You can enter as many comments as you want. It doesn't really matter to me. Just to make sure to add the emoji so I know that you're looking to enter the giveaway. Okay, but yeah, so the giveaway is going to be one, two, three, four different things. So we have this Huda Beauty Naughty Palette, palette right over here. And I'm gonna open it just so you guys can see what it looks like. This packaging is, I forgot it's like plastic. You know what, let me not even open this one. I'm just gonna show you guys mine so that way I can keep this closed. And then you're also gonna get in this giveaway the Real Techniques Miracle Powder Sponge. I actually really like this sponge. You can use it for powders, but I honestly use it for liquid products. Um, I think it works really well to kind of keep like this look really seamless, but still keeping like that super full coverage, you know. And then you're also gonna get two Real Techniques brush sets. So we have the Artist Essential set that comes with a multiple different face brushes. So you have this brush here, it's like a buffer brush, a fan. I actually really love this brush over here. I use it a lot for underneath the eyes before, sometimes if I'm using a brush prior to blending with a sponge, I'll use this particular brush 
a lot to blend out my concealer first and then I'll go in with a sponge after to you know smooth everything out. They definitely have a special place in my heart as well because I feel like Real Techniques is like one of the first brands that I used when it came to like makeup as far as like brushes are concerned. Like when I was first starting out, like Real Techniques was like huge, you know, especially for me. Like I was in college and I had no money and they were probably the only brushes I could afford at the time. <laughs> so it meant a lot to me that, you know, they have like really good quality brushes for an affordable price. Um, so on top of that brush set, you're also going to get the Everyday Eye Essential Set. I love, 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 love this brush set a lot um, because it literally just comes with all eye brushes, like tons of different eye brushes, blending brushes, shader brushes. You have a liner brush in there, um, an angled brush and a little brow. I think it's a, a lash comb. I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a lash comb. Is it a lash comb? Yeah, lash separator. It's like a metal comb. But yeah, so you'll be getting these two brush sets as well as the Real Techniques of Velvety Sponge and the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette. And just in case you don't know, you know, what the shades are and stuff like that. But this is the palette right here. So this is what you'll be getting. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely let me know what you think down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I love you and hopefully I will see you in the next one.